All right, welcome back to Foundation. So this time out, I want to build a Lord's Manor. Lord's Manor. Lord Manor. What's the actual name of it? A Lord Manor. Not Lord's Manor, but a Lord Manor. And I want to put some fishing huts down in here, I think. But I want to be careful because if the fishermen are down here, fisher people, they're going to need residential areas down here as well. And they're going to need food markets down here as well. And we're going to need a warehouse to help deliver that. Because as this city expands out, it becomes more challenging. I don't want to say difficult. I want to say challenging to keep everybody happy. Our happiness right now is 84. Uh, but we do need another church, another rustic church. This rustic church is giving us plus 5.8 of the churchy splendor. Which means we can unlock rustic church additions. Let's go ahead and do that. Ta-da! And we need 20 splendor to unlock... We have 20 commoners. We need 20 splendor to unlock the small stone wall and unlock the church. So we just need more splendor, which means we're going to need to build a lot of rustic churches. Anyway, and by the way, the speed shortcut keys are plus and minus. It couldn't be easier to do. So at one speed, let's go and grab us one of them Lord Manors. Now, I'm going to do the core. Now, I'm going to put the core right here. And I want to build treasuries, small treasuries. These are like wooden buildings because I want to get our maximum gold up above 500. So let's put a door in. Let's put the door for this thing in right there. And then what kind of extensions do we have? Mmm, tower? Kind of looks churchy, that's the thing. Let's put a tower on the... Oh, let's turn off snapping. And everything doesn't have to be connected. When it snaps, it's better because at least you can tell it's square. But I'm going to put this kind of sort of right here. I'm going to raise it up a little bit. Okay. And... That one window has a really crappy view, but that's a little more interesting than normal. And then as far as treasuries go, now the furthest I can build a treasury is out here, right? But I can put one down, okay? And then I can put another one down, you see what I'm doing? And then I can put another one down, and then I can put another one down. And I could build them all the way out here if I wanted. Now, I don't think I want to do that. But, um, just so you know, and then I can delete these by right-clicking. And then I could build a treasury attached to this Lord Manor all the way out here. Now, what's interesting, if I put another tower in, I'm restricted to the radius around here or the radius around this one. Um, and it doesn't matter whether I have snap on or off. But anyway, I don't want to go out here. We're going to do a small treasury, but we're going to leave it un unattached. And I'm going to put it next to these trees over here. Come on. And uh, we're just going to do... We're going to do something crazy. I have snapping turned off, right? Now, does it tell me how... Oh, this raises splendor as well. Build another one. And I wish I could get it to line up. But anyway, I'm going to put it kind of like half inside here. And then go up like this. What is that going to look like? Yeah, I like that. And then let's put another one in. And let's kind of go... Um, kind of a different direction. You know, kind of like this. Maybe have it stick out just a little bit like so. And maybe a little down. And that's just kind of a thing. It's kind of a thing. It, the only negative is, is that um, this door is right there. Let's... Okay, so let's... No, I don't want to go up and down. I want to... I just want to move it. Yeah, like so. And uh, it's all the nice views. How's that look? Like right on the edge. I like it. And I still this this is just this is just weird. What what is this here? All right, nine point five. It the tower adds splendor. That's eleven for a little tower. So I guess what we could do is I could actually. S ah. What if I put this up in the front here? Kind of like so. 
And then what if I raised it up? Can I raise it up then? So this isn't, so that's 12.5 in the labor splendor. And you know, that's, that's a thing. That's a thing. Let's just, let's just go with it. We don't have any fences or anything. So we need total cost 250 plankage. Start, right? Okay. So we got the Lord Manor going in and I wanted to do fishing huts, but I don't want to assign them jobs yet. Did I not unlock fishing? I bet I didn't. Unlock the fishing hut. I need one. Okay, we can't unlock the fishing hut yet because I need to do a quest to get one influence. I'm influential. I don't know what you're talking about. Now, we could buy more property. The profit seems pretty good. Why don't we go ahead and do that? Which one do we want to buy? Let's buy this one. Alright, so we're all the way down the hill here. If I want to put fishing huts down here, I'm going to want to put residential down here. So what do you need? You need residential, you need a church, you need food and water. And we could cut down all these trees as well, but leave these trees. So let's do that. Let's set an extraction zone. And again, I'm all about getting rid of the pines, but not the oaks. And then we'll go ahead and, and place a lumber camp and uh, we will put the lumber camp right here. I don't even have a well down here yet. So let's go ahead and place a well. I'd say right about here for lack of a better spot. And we're also gonna wanna put in a market and I'd say both a food and a good stall. And a red tent. And we'll put some uh, we'll put some barrels in just because we get a little more splendor that way. And you never know when you're going to need more splendor. Uh, we'll put a, we'll stick a barrel back there, and we'll put a bench. Uh, we'll put a bench next to the uh, clothing hut, maybe right over here. And we can put in. Aha! Uh, uh, I want to help my people. 30 berries, 60 days, plus 10 labor influence. I'll help my people. Thank you very much. So I want to stockpile berries and risk starvation until we can finish that quest. So we've got the food, we've got water. We've got the workplace, which is the lumber camp. We can stick in some residential zones. Definitely don't need another stone cutter can. Do I have berries going anywhere else? There we go. Thank you. Unstockpile, please. 22 villagers are lacking religion. That was a song, wasn't it? All right, quest completed. So now we have plenty of stuff to unlock the Fisher's Hut. There it is. And we need how many splendor? We have 11.5 splendor, so basically we need 9.5 more splendor to unlock the Stone Lord Manor and accessories. So let's see Fisher's Hut. Let's see how these look. Now, the water side of the fishing hut is this side. And it's not giving me any red. I'm kind of surprised. It used to give you red when you couldn't when you couldn't build it. Now it's pretty much letting me build it everywhere. Is that true story? So I can build it way out in the water here? Nope. There we go. So it's not really turning red to show me where I can and can't build it. I'll just have to guess. I, I'd really like it in the water. I can't see for the trees. I really like it in the water. For reasons. But I don't think I can. Can I put it right there? There we go. Okay. So I just had to click until it worked. Let's go ahead and assign three here to the wood camp and start. I didn't... I didn't... Yeah, I did. I put an extraction zone in and start extracting. How, how close are we? 40 of 40, that's it, we're almost finished. And as soon as we finish, our top number here is gonna go way up. How much, 
How much is it going to go up? I don't know for sure. But we have three treasuries. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Is somebody else coming? Julian, you just traded. Okay. What's the old plant arch? Uh, there's a gathering hut completed. Okay, so the plant arch... I don't know. We could put it here. You know? Can you guys walk under the plant arch? You did. Alright, we're done. We can now hold 1700 in cash and prizes. And we completed a well and a Lord Manor and a gathering hut and we have 130 berries. Hold on just a minute. Just a second. Um, I, I'm right in the middle of something. How many unemployed do we have? We have two unemployed. Um, I'm going berries. We have nine labor points, which means 369. We can unlock 369. That's all we need. Um, oh, Lord Manor. Oh, 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 we had 20 splendor. How did we get all this splendor? Lord Manor stone set. Now I can unlock it. Lord Manor treasury. Lord Manor bailiff office. Ta-da. And... I need three more labor splendor to unlock the tax office. I don't think the tax office works. Uh, as far as kingdom splendor, or not kingdom splendor, but kingdom influence, I only have one. I think it would be nice to have more. And we're going to get, in clergy influence, we have seven. So I think it's going to be kingdom. So let's get, I'll help the king. All right, and... Um, do we have any berries in the warehouse? We do. We're going to stockpile the berries again. Yeah. Okay. Building complete Fisher's Hut. All right. Downhill, downhill, downhill. There we go. I'm going to need to put in a church down here. Where should the church go? Should it go right along the water? What have I unlocked in the church so far? I unlocked the... No, I didn't unlock anything. I unlocked the additional... Unlocked it? I unlocked it the additional parts. Uh, so let's see. That's monuments. That's rustic church. Uh, oh yeah, stone extension. Okay. Core. Is there a stone core? Stone grave. Stone extension. Small tower, small tower. Look at all this stuff. So we're going to have a little church on the water. Is that a song? Do, do, do. No. Uh, we're going to have this little church uh, right here. Alright. And... Uh, hey, we can complete this quest. Ta-da! Alright, unstuck pile. And as far as the door goes, is this going to have that, that big fat door? Sure. It's, it's underneath the grass, but that's just the way it is. Stone extension. Ah. Any window in this? There is. Alright, so if I do that... Should I raise that up a little bit? Stone extension B is... What does this look like? Any window on this? There is. Didn't I already use this? I think I did. Stone extension A. This... Don't do that. This is kind of like this. That's going to hold 40 people. We don't have 40 people down here, but I like it. That's going to cost 86 stone, 10 planks, 13 tools. I like that because we really have a lot of stone. Uh, we need oh, stone graves. Sure. <laughs> um... How about another one? Stone grave. Alright, uh, there's a bunch of stone graves. And a wooden cross. Oh yeah. Come on. Right there. Wooden cross, stone grave, stone extension A and B, small tower A and B. That's wood. That's stone. Okay, so this is going to be the bell tower. And by the way, this, this church floods every year. You really shouldn't build this close to the water. 
in the flood zone like this. But there it is. That's going to hold 40. And that's going to give us plus 6.3 church splendor. What are these parts? These all give like 0 0.2 and 2. And 0 0.5 and 1. Um, stone extension is point. Oh, this sucks. The stone extensions only give... Really? Would extension be 0.5? Right? Well, I can do... I mean, this is just more planks. What's A? No, A doesn't look good. Let's do B again. Let's just do it on the other side. And as a matter of fact, let's turn off toggle building part. Now that we've got it in there, and let's just scoot it in, right? Yeah, like... So, there. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now it holds 50. And what do we need? 148 stone, 62 planks, 32 tools, 10 wood. We have 106 planks. We got everything. Let's turn snapping back on and go. All right. As far as this goes, I want to do some adding on to this. Uh, I think right in here. Did I clear that? Did I clear that residential area? I didn't. Let's uh, let's disable this. Not that anybody's going to build here anyway, but yeah, this is going to be this is church property here, people. And then I'm going to need to put a fence around this. Alright, and there's no fence in here. And, oh, we can put a wooden cross. That should be instant. We gotta have a cross. There we go. Uh, oh wow, somebody has to build the cross. We'll get on that. In the meantime, I'm going to put in some fencing. There. Building complete market. Building complete rustic church. Now which one? Oh, it's done. It's done and people are going in and out through not the front door. Uh, Alright, there's a bug in the door. So let's add it and let's put another door in. Is it door A? No, no, no. Door B? Yeah. Let's put another door in. And then once that's done, I'll take the little wigwam here off. And perhaps put a different door on the front. Maybe they'll go through it. I don't know. 90 happiness, man. 90 happiness. And I got to tell you, I am not happy. Don't go over the land. Don't go over the land. Nicely done. Right next to the edge. Very cool. Where is uh, Miss Kunigunde? And this market is set up to sell fish. Two, two fish sold for 20. We got ourselves some fish sales. And we're going to need another rare warehouse eventually. All right, that door is complete. Good. And uh, so we have fish sales. And we've got shirt sales. We've got 476 shirts, 282 wool, 294 cloth, um, 150 people unemployed. I can't build fast enough. So when we come back, uh, it's me building more buildings. Um, we can start the tool line really, really quick here. But, but next up is going to be wheat. Uh, so that was the Lord Manor and fishing. And next up is going to be the whole wheat and bread line. And uh, yeah, we, we go on. It would be nice. The, the village is looking really good. Now what's a good ending picture where I can get... I know I can turn off the UI. Control U. There we go. And uh, we need a nice, a nice picture that uh, pretty much shows everything. We got the fishing huts down there, we got the Lord Manor, and I didn't want to zoom in. 
right? And uh, we want to oh 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 we want to turn off the uh, borders. There we go. Yeah. And uh, there's the village, right? I'd like to get the whole village in. Can I twist around here and get the whole village in? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there's the whole village. And uh, so far, so good. All right. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you later.